Now we create the various DR plans that inform full stack DR what to do during a switchover or failover. We begin with the switchover plans. Create a switchover plan to transition everything from region 1 to region 2. Although this video doesn't show it, create another switchover plan to transition everything from region 2 back to region 1. Assuming we are picking up where the last video ended, simply select plans in the protection group that was just created. Then create a switchover plan using a name that is meaningful, like switchover from region 1 to region 2. Full Stack DR creates a DR plan that is automatically populated using built-in intelligent modules for the members that were added when the protection group was created. The DR plan will be generated with built-in plan groups as shown here. Plan groups are executed in serial. FSDR won't begin this plan group until the previous plan group has successfully completed all plan steps. And these are called plan steps. Plan steps are executed in parallel. User-defined plan groups can be added to include custom automation to handle unique instructions for Oracle and non-Oracle applications, DNS, load balancers, and anything else. Custom automation can be accessed as Oracle functions, object storage scripts, or scripts of any flavor on one of the VMs. Add as many new user-defined plan groups and tasks as needed to tailor the plan for anything not handled by full-stack DR out of the box. A completed DR plan to transition everything from Region 1 to Region 2 will look something like this. Now create a switchover plan to transition everything from Region 2 back to Region 1 before moving on to the next step of validating the DR plans that were just created. It's probably a good idea to wait until the switchover plans have been validated before creating failover plans.